grab a packet of that bhuna masala and use it when you are preparing your gravy vegetable so you can make that bhuna masala at your home and you can preserve it for very very long i will tell you how to make this bhuna masala at home so this bhuna masala will be use it you can use it for all kind of gravy or the curry recipes let's see how to make it and please do share and subscribe to our channel the ingredients required are you need 2 and a half kg of tomato you which you need to roughly cut them into pieces 2 kg of cut onions even you can roughly cut the onions as well then we need 100 grams each of ginger and garlic which you can simply peel off and then you can cut them roughly and i am taking fortune sunlight uh, refined oil the quantity of oil entirely depends upon you and now you have to chop all these ingredients actually you can use your chopper for this so i have first i'll be firstly chopping ginger uh, ginger and then i'll chop garlic now you can see i have chopped both ginger and garlic you can even uh, make a paste of these two but i personally don't want to do that because the the masala will also take a longer time to cook so i have used chopper to chop both these things now in the same chopper jar we have to chop both these uh, onions and tomato for this i'll be firstly putting up few onions a uh, few tomatoes then we will put few onions and then you need to chop it again you can use your blender but that very fine masala will take a lot of time to cook so i am um, chopping both these ingredients and thereafter we will cook it now i will show you how to chop both tomato and onion because you do not want a very fine paste so in breaks we will be applying pressure to chop it that's about it we will open it up to see and here you can see we can chop it little more that's about it we'll open it up and here you go we will take this chopped material into a bowl here you see this is the consistency which you want you do not want a very fine paste or you even don't want very big pieces of tomatoes and onions so sim in similar manner we will chop all the material if you have a bigger chopper then obviously it will take less time but i have a small one so it will take little time for me to chop all these things now our uh, chopped masala is ready we have taken two kadhais because we will be putting masala simultaneously for cooking so i have added approximately 250 ml oil in each of the kadhai you can increase or decrease the quantity of oil and then we will saute garlic the procedure remains the same as we make any other masala it's just that we are preparing this masala in bulk once garlic is sauteed it will turn little light brown in color what we'll do is to ease out our process we are uh, sauteing the garlic ginger garlic in one kadhai and thereafter we will mix the complete masala together to get the flavor evenly in the masala simultaneously in the other kadhai we have in the heated oil we have put the onion tomato masala now our ginger garlic is sauteed well it has turned nice brown color and into this we will add again the onion tomato mixture for the first 15 20 minutes cook this masala on high flame so that the water completely evaporates 
and thereafter we have to cook the masala on medium flame it will take approximately 45 minutes to 1 hour for this masala to cook nicely and properly until the oil separate now you see that the masala has reduced in quantity and at this stage we'll add salt the quantity of the salt we'll keep it low on the low side because while making the vegetable also we will add salt here goes turmeric powder so approximately we will be adding 2 teaspoon of salt 2 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 2 teaspoon of red chilli powder and the red chilli powder you can add two types of red chilli powder one for color which we i had just added and one for flavor the chilli net at this stage you have to ensure that keep stirring the masala in between because it has a tendency to get stuck at bottom this masala can be very aptly used in any of the gravy dishes which we prepared like, prepare like rajma matar paneer lobia or the alu matar any of the indian veget gravy vegetables which we make because this is the basic masala which we use in all these dishes and you do not have to cook this much masala each time you prepare these vegetables simply need to make it on one fine day and you are all set for rest of the month or even more than that now you can see that the oil has left the sides of the pan you can cook it further for just 10 to 15 minutes more on low flame and your masala will be ready then we'll allow it to cool down completely and we can store it in small containers or boxes here is my bhuna masala for gravy vegetables absolutely ready you can see this is the total quantity which i had prepared after cooling you can store the bhuna masala in these steel containers or even the plastic ones and then we have we will store it in refrigerator so you have to freeze it so that the masala is properly preserved and you can use this masala anytime you want to prepare any gravy so just before making the gravy take out one container of the masala let it come at normal temperature and then you can use it for storing you can also use these uh, this ice tray so that whenever you want to use the masala you can take out the cubes and then you can use the cubes Another precaution you have to take while cooking the masala is that it should cook really properly. No water should be there because then there are chances of this masala getting damaged. So for preserving though we are keeping it in refrigerator but after the oil leaves the side of the pan cook it for another 10 minutes as I had told you earlier. So try making this bhuna masala recipe at your home, preserve this masala and enjoy it anytime you want to make gravy vegetables. So I hope you like the video, stay tuned and in our next set of videos we will show you some more masala ready masala recipe.